Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week, as I posted, Microsoft rolled out the latest Canary and Dev channel inside a preview build 26085, which as I mentioned in that video, which will be in the end screen, it mainly included stability and bug fixes. And there were just a couple of minor improvements. And it was really a build where there were no major front facing changes, features or improvements. And if you want more info, as mentioned, go check that video out. Now, there is a reason why build 26085 that rolled out last week was a light build, as I would call it. And that's because Microsoft is busy finalizing our next annual feature update, Windows 11 24H2, which we are expecting to see roll out in the latter half of this year as our one and only annual feature update, which will take the version of Windows 11 from version 23H2 to version 24H2. And just a quick recap, the 24 stands for the year of release and the H2 means it's rolling out in the second half of the year. And as I've been posting previously, the Canary and Dev channel is currently where Microsoft is testing features that could possibly roll out with this year's annual feature update. Now, the reason that build didn't include any major improvements was because Microsoft is getting ready to start rolling out their release to manufacturers RTM build to OEMs like um, HP, Lenovo. Just to mention one or two examples where those OEMs can start testing Windows 11 24H2 on their PCs for that annual feature update. So the fact that um, the RTM build is soon to be released next month in April is a good sign now that Microsoft will start um, kind of finalizing the annual feature update in the inside program. There will be a couple of minor tweaks and adjustments, but I think once that RTM build rolls out, we're not going to see too many improvements taking place and changes taking place in the inside program. So I would suggest that by the end of next month, April, the um, the release to manufacturers build would have rolled out to OEMs as mentioned. And then as I've posted previously, we are expecting the 24H2 feature update to start rolling out in September or October to the general public. And that will roll out to all users, which as I've posted, and there will be a playlist in the end screen of this video if you want more information about 24H2 and all the features we could expect to see roll out and changes. There's going to be a lot more new AR, artificial intelligent features that are going to be rolling out with 24H2. Because as I was mentioning quite a bit last year, um, this was rumored to be Windows 12. And then because a couple of um, changes at Microsoft, Microsoft pulled Windows 12 for this year. And they are now focusing on 24H2 as the major release for this year with a whole lot of new AR features. And I'll also pop the Windows 12 playlist in the end screen if you would like some, some more info regarding that. Now, getting back to AR features. The AR features, it's going to be interesting to see how Microsoft actually rolls this out because you need the necessary hardware to get access to a lot of these up and coming new artificial intelligence features with 24H2. So there could be some AR features that could be missing depending on your hardware, which means to get access to all of the new AR features, you are going to be needing a neural processing unit, NPU for short. And I have um, posted a video on how you can check to see if your PC has an NPU, and I'll leave that as well in the end screen of this video. So quite a lot going on in the end screen of this video. But nonetheless, just a quick um, spoiler, most PCs currently will not have an NPU. But it's going to be interesting to see what features will roll out to the general public who do not have the relevant hardware for new AR or most of the new AR features, and then what um, new AR features roll out to hardware that does have an NPU as an example. But just keeping you guys posted and in the loop, that's the latest. The release to manufacturers build is soon to be rolled out to OEMs, which is a good indication now that Microsoft is in the process of finalizing our next annual feature update, Windows 11 24H2. And as always, I'll keep you guys posted if I get any more info. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.